everybody. Just getting set up here. Let me make sure that it's working. I'm not sure if I'm connected yet. Oh, there we go. All right. How is everybody this Thursday morning? some reason it's not showing on my iPad so if you're commenting I apologize I can't see them yet I'm working on it give me just one more moment here all right oh there we go all right it is a lovely Thursday morning. Oh, lovely. I can see my ring on the plate. Um, so today I wanted to come on and actually show you how to do the mugs that we've all seen on Demonstrator Planning Place or um, popping up in our Facebook feeds if you haven't gone on and looked. So this is one that I did actually with my team at our team meeting um, last week. Lisa and Teresa managed to come out. Some of the other girls couldn't make it. So we uh, we experimented with the, um, the new demonstrator set that was available after on stage, the Stamping Your Way to the Top. So this is the set we used. And we each picked a couple of different ones and then I combined it on the back here with the Crafting Forever stamp set. So I've got the little stamp there. But I wanted to come on today to actually show you how I did it. Um, Lisa and Teresa can attest to the fact that it's not as easy as it would appear. Um, and uh, it, it is a little bit of trial by fire. So I wanna show you how I did it. So I've picked up both of these mugs that I'm going to use. Um, so they're from the dollar store. They're relatively inexpensive. You can go in and pick whatever style you want. So this one is obviously more narrow, longer, and it does taper a little bit which can pose a problem because obviously stamps are flat. Hey Paulette and Carrie Ann. Uh, this one that I'm using today is actually more matte finish and I haven't experimented with that yet so I'm not sure how this is going to work but we're going to figure it out together. So the first thing I did is I'm using my Stamparatus plate to put my stamp because it's a lot easier to roll your mug across than it is to try and stamp directly on it. Hi Laura. Um, so I'm going to use the plate and then one of the other tricks that I saw in a couple of the other videos I watched were to have some additional stamps around it just kind of as a, a buffer so that the cup doesn't roll off the edge and, and smudge. So I'm just going to put a couple of extra stamps in after I ink. So I'm going to use stays on. Um, I have a couple of ink pads here because one's older so I don't know how well it's going to ink. And I am using the this little piggy stamp set for my cup. I do have a sample already with this but my oldest daughter has confiscated it for herself. So I'm just going to make myself a new one. Um, for those of you that know me, you know that I love pigs, so it's fitting. So I'm using the one with the uh, the flying pig that says, so she believed she could, and I'm going to add so she did to the back side of the mug. So you just want to ink it up really, really well. Hi, Kim. And then I'm going to tuck my little buffers in here. All right. And so I find if you start with the handle down, it gives you kind of a, a guide as to where you're gonna go and then you just roll the cup across the stamp so you can see that I've botched that a little bit and not captured all the the words what I did discover is that some good old stays on cleaner I will actually take that off now this is an old bottle that I bought at Michaels but it it actually works really well so I'm just gonna wipe that off Rubbing alcohol apparently works as well, although I haven't tried that. There you go, just like new. So 
I'm going to re-ink and we're going to try again. And I was worried that the stays on cleaner would actually leave a, a greasy residue on the cup and that it would affect future stamping, but it, it really doesn't. Um, as Teresa and Lisa can attest, um, we went through a lot of cleaner on, <laughs> on Wednesday last week um, and it didn't affect the mugs at all. Let's try this again. A little bit better, still not quite. So we'll just try again. And this is what I said, it can be frustrating. It is a little bit of trial by fire to get it. I think if you were able to find a cup that didn't have that taper to it, that it would be a little bit easier, but because this has the taper, you do have to rock the stamp a little bit to cover all the areas. All right. Try this third time to try a charm, hopefully. All right. And again, a little bit better. And I'm not going to fuss too much about that because it's just a cup for myself. If I were giving these away as team gifts, obviously I would tidy that up a little bit. But that's not too shabby, a little blurry, but I'm okay with that. So then for the back, same thing. I'm just going to remove my piggy here. I'm going to put my So She Did. I will say the first one I made with this cup, I tried to do it on the inside so that it read so she did in here and I could not get that to work. So backside it is. There we go, so she did. And obviously smaller stamp, a lot easier to work with. So Carrie Ann, once I've stamped it, I'm now going to actually go put this in my oven so you wanna put it in a cold oven and then turn it on to 350 and let it bake for half an hour. And then once the half an hour is up, you wanna turn off your oven and let the cup cool inside it and then you are good to go. So hand wash only, I haven't tested it in the dishwasher, but you can hand wash it and the stamp is going to stay. You can also, after you've baked it, you can go ahead and use your blends to add color, but then you have to bake it a second time. So once it's cooled, go ahead and color with your blends, put it back in the oven at 350 for half an hour, and then you've got the color to it. So that is my tip for the week, I guess. Um, I've seen them everywhere. I think they make really great gift ideas. So you could stamp whatever you want on there, fill it with some, treats and chocolates, you know, maybe a bone folder, depending on what you're doing with them, maybe some adhesive, wrap it in some cello, and then you've got a great team gift or um, craft sales, anything like that, that will help boost your business. Um, and yeah, I, I really like them and my kids like them. Like I said, my oldest daughter's confiscated the one I previously made. So I think there's more cup making in my future. You can likely buy colored cups as well. Obviously, if you're going to stamp in black, it's not going to matter. So if you have, you know, the need for a pink cup or an orange cup or whatever you can find at the dollar store, by all means, I do actually like the matte a little bit better than the glossy now that I've used it. Um, it didn't slide around as much as the other, so I might actually go back and try some more matte cups. So that is my tip for the day. I do need to hop off. It was a short and sweet live today. I'm home with my kids, so I managed to get them to be quiet for 10 minutes. I don't know how much longer that will last. So I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.